Hey everyone, it's Brie. I'm back with another scrapbook process video for the Shimmers Paints Color Kits team. And I am going to be working with the brand new January 2022 color kit. And the first color I'm showing y'all is a colorings in Pretty in Pink. And the next one is a Vibes in Don't Rain on My Parade. And it's this really pretty blue. Uh, the next one is an Inklings in Corny Flower Blue. Now the Inklings, uh, you just have to add water to them and then that'll activate the little paint pot. We also have a Creamies in Cheeky Pink, and that's the same, you add um, some water. And then we have a new color, it's a Shimmers, and this one already comes with liquid, and this one is called Peaches in Cream. We do get um, this set of dots, and it has like a little pop dot on the back, and then we do get this um, gorgeous little glitter pack. And then this is the cut file for January, this one is called Through My Lens. Now I'm going to go ahead and start with my background. I have a mini little brayer that has been on my wish list for a while and I finally picked it up. It was out of stock for a while. Um, I do have a brayer. It's a large one, but I just wanted a little one just so I don't have to cover like too much surface area if I don't want to. Um, and I love it. I thought it was so much fun. So um, I just sprayed Don't Rain on My Parade and then I'm going to bring in some of that Corny Flower Blue. And Corny Flower Blue is probably one of my favorite blues, like the lighter ones. Um, it's just real pretty and subtle. And this whole color kit is super wintry and so fun. And it actually matched really well with the exclusive um, kit from the Hip Kit Club. It's called the Big Chill and that's the collection that I will be using today. So I just kind of um, looked at my cut file to make sure that I had enough coverage on my background for some of that color to uh, peek through. I decided just to keep like my background, a lot of the blues and then my camera, um, you know, with the pinks. So I did a lot of splattering. I did a lot of, you know, just blending the two blues. And then I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna color my cut file. I did cut it on some textured white cardstock. I didn't prep it with any gesso. I'm just leaving it as is. So I am being careful. These um, florals and the little uh, leaves are very, very delicate. Um, so I didn't wanna add too much liquid on them because they were already delicate and I didn't want them to tear or break. Um, so I just lightly sprayed on that. Uh, which one is that one? Cheeky pink? That one is pretty in pink. And then I added some cheeky pink and then some peaches and cream. So I set that aside to dry. And then here's my background off camera. I did add some of that new peaches and cream just to add some more pink sparkles to kind of tie everything together. And then um, I am gonna go back in and add more of the pinks to my flowers once I have everything adhered down. Now I did back that cut file with a piece of vellum. I didn't want to cover up the background that I created um, since that camera is very large. Um, but I, So I wanted a little bit to peek out. So that's why I chose vellum. And then for my lens, I went ahead and created a shaker because that glitter is so pretty. And I wanted a chance to highlight it a little bit. So I just took the inside, created a little window with some acetate, um, had some foam around the edge of my frame. And then um, because it's glittery and I was just applying the like little lens window right on top of my camera i just spooned in the glitter right on top of the vellum and then sealed it with my little shaker window and that was that it was super easy and super simple so now that my camera is done i'm going to go ahead and work on the rest of my layout um, i have a few pattern papers from the um, hip kit exclusives and i just tore them uh, and then adhered them at the bottom. And then I'm gonna go ahead and tuck in my little camera cut file and um, kind of tilt it as, at an angle so it's not too straight. And then the photo I have is of, oh my gosh, my dog cubby. I took this photo a couple days ago when it was freezing. Like here in Louisiana, we're like the weather, it's like 69 one day, 70, like in the 70s and the next day it's like freezing. So this specific day, it was I think 34 degrees. And Luna and Cubby like to chase each other all over the backyard. Now, since he's running a lot, and <laughs> he even when he's not running, he just likes to jump in the pool. And that pool's freezing, and he does not care. He will still jump in. So I took a picture and sent it to my friend Shannon, and she was like, oh, you should totally document it and put Polar Plunge. So that will be my title. And since I'm using this wintry color kit as well as a wintry collection, I thought this photo is perfect. So I did map my photo with a few pattern papers, and then I'm going to go ahead and finish the rest of the embellishments. So I did pull out a few polar clusters, and then I'm going to bring in the dots, which are epoxy flare. 
and I'm going to tuck those in a few places. Uh, two are snowflakes, and then the other one says all the feels. And I'm going to add some tangled thread, of course, under each dot. I love to do that. I think it just adds extra pops of color and like texture around my page. But I also like the way it looks under each dot. So I've got pink, and then a blue, and then a pretty mint. I don't really add too much more to my layout. I just add my title using these like um, small puffy alphas, and then I add um, some chipboard phrases. And I'm sorry if you hear my dogs. Hopefully, I can get through the whole entire <laughs> voiceover without them losing their minds. Um, so yeah, so here is my quick title. And I believe I edit, yeah, I didn't want you to see me struggle <laughs> with putting those alphas down. Um, I'm just going to add some foam tape to a couple areas, going in with a few chipboard stars. But I think that's it. Oh, I do add this last phrase sticker that says it's freaking cold because it really was. It was 34 and it was freezing and he did not care. He loves to swim. He, uh, it's just so funny. He is in that pool more than anybody. Um, so yeah, just finishing with a couple puffy stickers and that's it. So if you do place an order with Shimmers Paints, don't forget to add my name in the notes comment section of any order and you'll receive a mini freebie. Um, so thank you so much for watching, commenting, and subscribing. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.